But like we always do at this time. Now, I told Adam 22, I told this man, I tried to be fair about my conversations that I have with people. I said, yo, Adam, if you ain't never been to the ghetto, don't ever come to the ghetto. Because you might not understand the ghetto. So stay the F out of the ghetto. But Adam 22 walked off through old block like it was no problem, like he was born and raised out there in Parkway Gardens while the rest of the people chinchilled and was so happy and lovable and huggable, just like a little chinchilla doll. They were so happy to see Adam 22 walk through and broke bread with them. But they didn't know that the money he was giving them was towards their commissary because he was sitting in the fairs right behind them. Okay, enough of that. But then FBG Butter gets on his sh- well, gets on his BS and said that he took Adam 22 deposit. He ain't going to show. He's not going on the show. And he's going to get you for your money. And I don't care what you say. Adam 22 recovered back and said, hey, this guy here, he's lying. I swear on my mama. I swear on my babies. Man, you ever swear your babies again? I smack the shit out you, Adam. Don't you ever do that shit again. Fuck wrong with you niggas. So I sacrifice be going on because you niggas will put your babies in, in harm's way knowing you be lying. But anyway, anyway, but it said that he took the money because of the simple fact that Adam 22 conducted an interview and Mama Duck and refused to pay her. He refused to pay Mama Duck her other portion of the money. So FBG Duck took the money, FBG Butter took the money in remembrance of FBG Duck and say he's not giving him not one brown penny, but then Butter went right on to disrespect Mama Duck and said she's a pop-off, she screw everybody. So we don't know where Butter had at. We don't know if Butter here or there or if she's with us or not. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like Trent said he got his kneecap, blew off, and was just telling the street. He said, that nigga wasn't there. But, hey, that's that Chicago. That's some Chicago legends, and I don't know because I wasn't there. But listen to Adam 22. He know he got you for this money. Listen. He got hit with the mm, stuck with the mm. Forgive me, Yo, I'm outside the, the hotel mm. right now. I was going to wait to say this on the podcast, but I forgot to say it uh, when we recorded the episode yesterday and everything, but FBG Butter, clearly this dude is out of his mind, or at least like is such a clout chaser that he's doing multiple interviews claiming that he got all this money off of No Jumper, that he scammed us for money on my mom. On my kids, he got us for zero dollars. You sell your your kids, get them to smack your face, Adam. Don't ever say that again, buddy. And he's now doing multiple interviews, claiming that he got us for some money, and it is one hundred percent not true. So I just wanted to get that out there, and then I'm gonna continue this in one second. Okay, so forgive me. Now, if Bud ain't get him for the money. Why was it mandatory that he had to get out here and tell everybody? But I could almost guarantee you that butter that 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 Adam Twenty Two probably never tried to put it into play where somebody gonna try to do something to butter. Watch this here. I guarantee you that he's gonna try to do some get something done to butter. Now we clearly hear Adam say that on his mama, on his kids. He didn't get his man nothing. Adam 22 or no jumper lost no money. Now, this young man went over here to this show, Butter, FBG Butter, and told a whole another story. I'm going to let you hear what he had to say about it. Listen to the question. So before we move on to the next topic, to clarify, Adam, Adam, did Adam send you money and you just ran off on him? Or are you blackmailing him? What exactly is, is going on with you and Adam, to clarify? All right, to clarify, Adam didn't send me anything. <laughs> he ain't sent me nothing. He, you know what I'm saying? He he had to go through somebody to talk to me. Unfortunately, he gave them the money, and they gave me the money. And I was like, why the fuck would I go out there to that nigga? Like, bro, mm. you got bro fucked up. Because we could come in here on some fuck shit. The motherfucker don't want us on no fuck shit, gang. You feel me? So I just said, I started going to L.A. Slight chances of going to jail, putting myself in an even more fucked up situation. I'm just going to take what I got. So who do we believe? Who do you believe in? Because Adam tell us one thing, but we know 
the coach of Vulture Adam, we can't really believe too much of what comes out of his mouth. How do you believe what Butter said? Butter said he gave the money to somebody else. They gave him the money for him to eventually go out there. He said, ask Kirk. I ain't giving you shit. Bye. Now, for some strange reason, I'm going to stick to the coaching. I believe Butter. Shouts out to the whole FPG camp. Shouts out to Mama Duck going through a trial situation. Shouts out to Wooski. Shouts out to motherfucking the whole O Block. Shouts out to the goddamn whole STL. Shouts out to the whole goddamn THF. Shouts out to the whole goddamn Lamar. Shouts out to everybody. Y'all stop killing each other, though, at the end of the day. Enough is enough. We tired of hearing it. Unless somebody got something to speak positive. It's another rapper out. He played as the guy on 50 Cent Show. And he used to wear the Gucci jacket, the red and white Gucci jacket. That's a dope MC, whatever his name is. Your man is a real dope MC. These niggas, I feel like they got to kill. Maybe it's for a thrill. Maybe because you was off a pill. I don't know. Or maybe you just think that that's just a part of the culture, a part of the drill. Nah, let's be for real. Time for these brothers to chill. We got motherfuckers dying and they're not even in the field. Kids can't go out and play no more. How the fuck you feel? You know, but anyway, just some, just a little something to think about before I get up out of here. It's your boy, Casa Don. I would like to give a salute to all my brothers on here. I like to give a shout out to all my moderators and all my subscribers. I like to give a big, 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 much love to all my subscribers. Much, much, much love. Thank you to everybody who even just rock with the channel, who took time to watch the video. But if you came this far, hit the like button and hit the hit the share button. Like and share. Like and share. It's a sad situation. I'm gonna say this again. Butter not dumb. That's why Butter just saying, Yo, I don't know what happened. I passed out. Whatever, whatever the fuck he said. <laughs> he said, I don't know what happened. I'm just playing, but Butter said that Adam B tried first, first, I heard him say some shit about it. he tried he robbed Mama Duck for some money. Then I heard him say because he did Wooski. Now I'm gonna be real with y'all. Y'all know I, I I watch shit and I listen very well. I got one interview with him saying on uh, um DJ U, he said that um Butter said that Adam twenty two robbed Mama Duck for her money and then on this one he said that some other shit. You get what I'm saying? Which one was it? He said because of Wooski. They do anything for clout. They do anything for clout. Well, this bump we on the shit list. That's why he didn't get dismissed. Yo, girl, you get clit list. Pop another shit, get get with. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I'm just playing. It's your boy Costa Don once again, man. Salute. 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 I'm gone.